Are these the perfect wireless earbuds? Let's find out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm looking at this. Well, looking at what's inside the case. These are the Tribit Flybuds, and they're pretty nice wireless earbuds. Let's find out how they work, and then I'll tell you how they sound. First off, they feature six millimeter drivers and Bluetooth 5.0, and they're using what they call an FPC antenna. So I looked up, what is FPC? And it just means that it's a flexible printed circuit board. So it's not anything super rocket science-y, but here's the thing. They pair, they never disconnect from each other, and they have an extraordinary range from my phone. So I'm using an iPhone XS, and I put this upstairs, the top of my staircase, and I just walked around. I went outside, I went like through multiple walls into small rooms to do the laundry, if you need to know, and it never had any problems with the connection. It just streamed, it sounded good, and really, I don't know whether it's the FPC antenna, whether it's Bluetooth 5.0 or what, but these Flybuds stay connected, and that's really great. If you're used to ones where you need to be like within three feet of your phone, this totally isn't like that. Now, it also has good battery life too. Each of these has a six hour battery, and then this base gives you five additional charges, which gives you a total, if you do the math, of 36 hours of battery life. That will vary based on the volume of how loud you listen, because the louder it is, the more energy you're using to drive that volume. So if you want it to last as long as possible, don't jam it as high as you can. <laughs> the earbuds are IPX5 water resistant, so that I would not wear them swimming. They're gonna float out anyway, let's be realistic. But they're gonna be perfectly fine if you're really sweaty and you're working out or you're on a run or bike ride and it starts to rain. If it starts to hail, find cover. Just a handy tip from me. Um, but if it starts to rain or you're like really yucky sweaty or something, totally no problem. Now, one of the things I really like about these Flybuds is they have very overt left and right indicators and those match how you put them into the case. Now you're thinking, well, yeah, don't they all do that? And the answer is no, they don't all do that because in fact, there are some that I've seen where the right one goes into the left side and the left one goes into the right side, which is a little confusing when you take them out and you're like, well, I gotta get them in the right ear, but I'm not sure which is which. So good to know. They also have mono mode, which means you can listen to one earbud if you want. You can have the other one charging while you're listening, that's fine. It's good for phone calls because I'm used to phone calls where I do this sort of thing. So, you know, when you have both earbuds in, you're going to get your phone calls in stereo. But if you have one earbud in, it does sort of mimic more our usual experience with a phone or telephone call. Now, speaking of which, they sound pretty decent. So when you're on a phone call, they don't do HD phone calls. We just don't have that technology. Well, we have the technology, we just don't have it implemented. But, you know, the person on the other end is going to be able to hear you. You might have to talk a tiny bit louder than normal, but not by much. You're fine. If you're in a really loud ambient environment, like at a nightclub, they're probably not going to work very well. But seriously, you're in a nightclub. Get off the darn phone or text someone because they're not going to be able to understand you anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, perfectly functional. And in terms of latency, well, it was sort of interesting because I tried a bunch of different video sources and almost all of them were perfect. So Netflix and Sling TV and all of those were fine. But I did find that one of them, actually, no, I think it was Sling TV had a little bit of a latency issue. And that might be something on Sling side as opposed to something with the earbuds. But if you're going to use these and watch a lot of video, then immediately test them as soon as you receive them to make sure they'll work for you. Again, for most of my video sources like um, DirecTV streaming and Netflix and HBO On Demand, they work great. No latency issues at all. So let's see. They also have touch controls. Here's the handy cheat sheet for that. But basically you put them in your ears and then you sort of rotate them to get them to fit comfortably. And they go in, you know, kind of deep, I guess. I don't know. But once they're in, you're in good shape and they stay in. Um, and I'm now listening to music. Sorry, Sting, I turned you off. <laughs> um, and then you have the tap sequences for all the different features. 
It's a little confusing on the Amazon description of the product. It says you can adjust volume by tapping it, but you can't. So in fact, if you want them to be louder or softer, then you're gonna be adjusting whatever your Bluetooth source is. They also aren't AAC or APTX, if that's something that matters to you. Um, it would be nice if they had that additional circuitry, which would give them richer sound, which gets us to the sound, which is something really important for us to talk about. But before we get there, let me just say, very nice packaging. This is one of the nicest cases I've actually ever encountered. It has a really nice, almost a leather feel to it and charges with USB-C. It has little tiny indicator lights on the front for the earbuds. So they're both flashing red or they're both solid red, which means they're charging. And then if I plug this in, there's a little tiny light next to the USB-C plug that shows me its charging status for the case itself. So really well designed, it's a nice size, has a wonderful feel to it, really like that. Um, also in the box, you have instructions in a number of languages, handy. You have a USB-C charging cable, a pretty short USB-C charging cable, I should say, but probably entirely adequate for your purposes. And you have three sizes of ear tips, which again, take the time, figure out which ones are gonna work best for you. And then, in an interesting choice, they have two cards, one of which is an invitation to share your um, experiences. And it offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, 18-month replacement warranty, and lifetime support guarantee. That's cool. But what I like better is, if you leave a review on any channel at all, then they'll donate a dollar to UNICEF, which is a good cause. So props to them for that. Um, leave an honest review though. If you're gonna do something like that, don't think that they're only gonna you know, do that donation if you, <laughs> you know, give super positive results. So all of that all fits in the box. It's very nice. So I'm gonna put it back here, which gets us to the sound. Now, I tried different size ear tips. I put them in my ears. I experimented with different angles and different positions. You definitely want to get right and right, left and left, obviously. And they sound good. They don't sound great. Here's the thing is they're not very bright, which is good. And there is bass, which is good. But there's a richness that I found was missing. I tried a variety of different music sources and types of music. And I wanted to really be blown away. I wanted to have this be this big, rich sound with a big spatial feel to it and everything. And they just don't have that for me. Now, you know, maybe I'm a little jaded because I've literally tried hundreds of headphones and earbuds, but you know, they sound good. They're really good for the money, but they're not gonna blow you away. They're not amazing sound, which is kind of surprising because the previous generation Tribit I thought sounded really good. But these, you know, they have very competent, very accurate and precise music reproduction. But there was just a richness that I really wanted that just wasn't there. Again, maybe you can monkey with your EQ settings on your phone, Android and iPhones both offer EQ. And you maybe be able to like change the sound profile a little bit to give it a little bit more fullness. But I just didn't find that. So it goes. I would still say they're very good headphones or very good earbuds and they have a very competent sound. I mean, you're not going to be unhappy with these, but if you're looking for something that's really going to make you say, these are earbuds? Holy cow, these sound like big over-the-ear headphones. These are not those. So, so it goes. So really all this left to talk about is the price. And even with my limitations, I think that they're very well priced. And I think these are definitely worth checking out, particularly the extraordinary connectivity and this great battery life. And they're darn comfortable too. I will say that I wore them for many hours walking around and doing all sorts of chores and other stuff, but not very exciting. And really didn't even notice I had them in my ears. They're very comfortable. So with that, let's talk about the price. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Great, 
Now, leave a comment also. Tell me what kind of music you use to audition your own audio gear. I remember when I was in college, I would go into stereo stores that had these like $10,000 speakers, and this was a while ago, so now they're probably like $50,000. And I would go in and I'd always have like some Kate Bush music, and that was just my reference source, that I knew what it should sound like, and I'd listen to it on all these beautiful speakers and headphones, and then I would have a good sense of what it should sound like. So what do you listen to when you want to really decide if you've got good audio gear? Let me know. Leave a comment. Great. So that means that we're down to the price. So these are the Tribit Flybuds wireless earbuds, and they are quite reasonably priced at $64.99 at Amazon.com. I would say these are definitely worth checking out, and unless you really want to have this huge musical experience, and I don't know, maybe you would with these, but generally speaking, I found them to be very competent, but not something that's going to blow your socks off or wow you. So with that, I will hope to catch you in my next video.